Hey everybody, this is Darren. I'm going to do my second review now, um, second part of my review for the Motorola Dex. I'm going to concentrate on the operating system of Motorblower. Um, first of all, Motorblower is um, a social network integration kind of UI where basically it brings together all your different social networks into one place, allows you to update some and view your friends. Um, just start off by going through each uh, part. It's based on Android 1.5, so you know it's a little bit behind in terms of the updates. Um, let's have a quick look um, at some of the basics. First of all, you've got three tabs at the bottom of your screen. You've got your dialer and phone book here. Well, your dialer and your call log, really. So you can see that it tells you your recent frequent calls. Um, your next tab is your applications tab which comes with the usual kind of applications since on this one you do get iMeme installed you also get MySpace installed and you do get Shazam installed as well um, they come pre-installed so that's that and then the third one the third tab at the bottom there your little blue man kind of thing is your um, contacts. Now your contacts basically integrates all your contacts from all your different network um, your social networkings um, and you can view them as you want um, so that's quite nice. Each obviously when you kind of click it shows you what's where they're linked all that kind of stuff and you can see what they've been up to on those particular linked social networking sites. So there are the three main tabs um, let's just quickly go through the widgets that we, um, are the main thing. So, let's start off first of all with the happenings widget. Basically, the happenings widget um, is a collection of all the things that have been happening in your different um, social networking sites, and they put them all into one place so you can view them. Um, so, basically, what it does is it collects them for the period that you choose, one day or so on, and then they bring them all together so you can go through them look at all your Twitter and your Facebook and your last FM, all that kind of stuff, all in one place. Which is, you know, it's quite nice. Um, you can even list, look at them in a list kind of style like that. Which, you know, allows you to look at more quicker and that kind of stuff. So, you know, it depends on your preference. If you don't want to look at them all, you can then select which one you want to look at. So I can just look at my Twitter ones if I wanted. Oh, if I so desired, I can look at my last FM ones, of which is nothing. Um, so that's a, a, a nice little thing to be able to um, see everything in one place. Okay, the next widgets we'll look at the social status one. This just allows you to sort of like update your status. Now you can either do it on both or all, or you can select which one you want to do it on and then once you do that you post it and it updates your site as expected next one let's have a look at we'll look at the weather one the weather one's nice um, allows you to add a city so you choose what city you want how you want to display the temperature so let's just add where I am now um, I'll do it using the keyboard so you can see how the keyboard works. So there's the keyboard there. Um, and then if I type in where I am now, search. There we go, it's that one there. There we go. Done. And there you go. A nice little. Uh, Widget showing the current state of play and the weather outside, which is about right. Bolton and rain, usually the right combination. Pressing it brings up a nice little forecast. So you've got five day forecast, well, the four day, I guess, including today's. So again, that's a nice little widget. Okay, um, the next major widget is the messages widget, which allows you to, hold on, which allows you to put in. Um, well, to see all your messages in one place. So what it can do is it can integrate or, or kind of collate all your messages from your email account. So you can put in your Hotmail account there or your Yahoo or whatever. Um, there you go. Um, and you can look at them um, in the same style as you can look at your happenings which it brings them up like that. Um, one of the things it does, it, it, you can have that message box like that or... When you come, you can have it so that you can look at each individual message box. 
So let's try to get a better view for you there. So there you've got your universal inbox, which is all your inbox um, inboxes, messages, clears in one place, and then you've got the individual ones, text, Facebook, Hotmail, and Twitter. So it's nice to have everything in one place to be able to access them quickly and easily. So the next one is the news widgets. Now the news widget is quite good because it allows you to um, set up RSS feeds on your desktop. Um, so as you can see I've got the obligatory Android guys um, RSS feed there. Um, so it's quite good. It allows you to, if you look at it, you can bring it up and have a quick scan of um, the basic there we go. Um, the content. Clicking on it brings up a list of all the backdated ones which is nice and then obviously you can then go and view that in the browser so that's good because you can set it up to um, to kind of any feed you want that's got an RSS on it um, which just makes life a bit easier um, and again this is kind of taking away you know some of the third party apps that you might have installed in your G1 to do these things um, so you know I mean it works really well so far in terms of the performance it's um, I've had no issues at all battery life is, is it, what we expect for an Android device although it is um, lasting longer than the G1 at the moment um, anything else? So let's have a quick look. The market is obviously a shame because if you look, you recognise that market. Yep, that's the old market. Um, and unfortunately, as well, I'm, uh, there's some applications I can't get on here. Now, I don't know if it's because it's more auto blur, but um, I don't see why. But basically, there's one or two applications that I can get on my G1, um, but I can't get on this one. Now, is that something to do with the market and it being 1.5 or whatever? Then I'm not sure. But it's a shame, really, because you know we are 